First thing I want to do is say, head on over to this URL if you want to check out this week's product pick of the week. Uh, and maybe get a jump start on throwing one in your cart if it looks like something you want and you want to get it on a huge 50% discount, uh, which is excellent for this. Before I say any more, what I'll do is I will have Lady Ada go back a little bit in time, quite a few years uh, in time, in fact, to, uh, to introduce this. This is Parts Pal. Parts Pal! Parts Pal! It's your pal that won't let you down as much parts. <laughs> That's the theme song I'm working on. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a pal that won't let you down. Okay, the parts pal is um, it's a kit of kind of all of the parts that you would want. Um, it, it's kind of a, a, it's a little bit of everything um, all together in a nice little case. So this is the box. Uh, it comes with this box. It's a nice latching box. And inside there's multiple bags, and each bag contains a different set of components. So let's start with the big bag first. So you get a half size breadboard, it's so really handy. You can put components inside of it. You also get a stick of 40 pin uh, breakaway header so you can break this apart. You also have non-breakaway female header. Female header doesn't come in breakaway style, but you can cut it with um, snips or with strong scissors if you'd like. You also have some wires. Uh, these are pull apart wires so you can pull them off and you get 20 short wires and 10 long ones and they come in uh, 10 different colors, so you get like a full set of colors, so it's kind of nice. You also get a bunch of LEDs. Um, you get uh, five green five millimeter LEDs, and you get five red LEDs. That's kind of what we started with. And then you also get one 10 millimeter RGB LED. I just love these. These are just so handy because they're like really big. They're great for indicators. Um, they're fairly bright as well. And uh, you can use them in the breadboard and um, get you know RGB inside of them, so that's kind of nice for, for color mixing. Um, next up, we have some resistors. Uh, you don't get a lot of resistors, but you get enough to get started with. Uh, here's uh, 10 4.7K, 10 1K, 10 560 ohm, and 10 10K. These are kind of the resistors that I use the most, so I thought that would be handy. You also get a bunch of capacitors. These are really handy because you, know, you can get resistor kits, but capacitor kits are rarer. So this is um, 10 microfarad 50 volt. So that's one set, and you get five of those. You get five 100 microfarad 16 volts. So of course, the lower the capacitance, the higher the voltage. It's usually a trade-off um, when we want to keep it. Um, so you, you know, you, if you really need high voltage, use 10 microfarad. If you are using everyday voltages that most makers use, this is the 100 microfarad will work fine. And then we have 50 volt capacitors, and I'm not going to sort these out, but we have 10.1 microfarad, 10.01 microfarad and 10 1.0 microfarads. So you kind of get a range of uh, capacitors and the, the little numbers on them indicate which the value is. Next up is mechanical. These are mechanical parts and some sensors. You get a piezo buzzer, I love these. You can make beepy sounds. You can also use it as a, a basic tap sensor. Um, you can show a microcontroller pin when you tap it, there's a little bit of a voltage spike. And also when you uh, square wave out to it, you can make tones. So very handy, breadboard friendly. You get uh, three breadboard friendly friendly slide switches. They fit into a breadboard and they, they have, you know, single pull, double throw. Yeah, that's right. I always get those confused. Um, slide switch, so it's kind of handy. You get three of those. You get um, five six millimeter tactile switches. These are also breadboard friendly. And, um, you know, press and then the pin's short, handy for basic interfaces. These are. Super common. You get a uh, one kilo ohm potentiometer. So these are nice breadboard friendly potentiometers. And um, with the twisty knob. And you get a 10K one. So you get one 1K and one 10K. So it's kind of nice. One of each and a uh, nice knob with an arrow. Again, breadboard friendly. You can use it with that solderless breadboard. All this stuff is breadboard friendly, which is kind of a point. You get a 10K thermistor. Uh, it's not as nice as a, a, an analog out temperature sensor, but we have code example. You can use it as a temperature sensor. Um, you just need one of the 10K resistors and uh, set up a divider, and then it's, it's quite easy to measure the voltage and convert it to temperature. You get a photocell, so a light sensor, and you get a vibration switch. So when you um, flick it or when something moves, the two pins short together. So it's another easy way to sense motion. I call it the, the poor woman's accelerometer. If you just want to to tell it something's moved, this is a good 
sensor to use. And then we're not done yet. We have one more baggie. You can tell there's a lot of parts. There's like 170 total parts. So you get five power diodes. These are one in 4001 power diodes. These are good as um, flyback or power or full wave or, or half wave rectifiers. So it's one in 4001s. You get five signal diodes, one in 4148s. Uh, can be used as small flybacks. It's also really good for just, um, uh, you know, signal diodes. You, you don't want to use, to put, use them for power regulation so much. But if you want to, you know, have uh, voltage go only one direction, you want to, um, uh, uses as part of a filter or something. One LD33, 3.3 volts, uh, one amp or so voltage regulator. So if you need a 3.3 volt output, you get that. Two L, uh, 78LO5s, so sorry, 7805s, one amp five volt regulators. So handy if you need to get a five volt regulated output. And then um, you get five NPN transistors and five PNP transistors. These are kind of common. I think they're like 30 volt uh, transistors, about 200 milliamps probably each. Good for all sorts of power switching. You can actually do quite a bit. Uh, these are pretty good transistors. So if you want to uh, power high, high voltage stuff from a microcontroller pin, you can use this. Uh, you can use it for um, powering a small motor with the flyback diodes and um, do basic stepper motor control and stuff. You can make it. it Slightly crummy, but still functional H bridge if you really, really needed to. And then finally, uh, TLC555. So this is a um, wide voltage range and low current 555 timer. I really like this particular 555. It's a little more expensive than the any 555, but it's CMOS, not TTL. So it comes in foam, and um, you can run off of batteries. You can run off of a AAA battery even, um, which is really nice. And uh, it, I think it goes up to a megahertz. So okay. great for all sorts of timing needs. All right, so that's parts pal. That's, yeah, no, there's a lot, but I want to explain every component. So I think it covers everything that you need. When you get this, you're kind of, you know that you'll have enough to build all the projects that you're working on. Can be used with any kind of microcontroller, microcomputer, electronics yeah. project. You can do analog, 555 timer. You know, you Except don't even no need. imitation. Don't buy Breadboard Buddy. He's not your buddy. <laughs> He's not your buddy. Breadboard Buddy's a liar. Yeah. It's not Breadboard Buddy, it's parts pal. We also want to have it be gender neutral. Yeah. Yeah, pal's pal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yes, that's right. Pal is pal. Uh, so let me flip the camera down here. Look at that right there. That is my product pick of the week this week. It is the Parts Pal. So Parts Pal is fantastic for anytime you're going to travel and need to grab some emergency electronics. If you're going to work on projects, uh, go somewhere where you're not sure what you're going to encounter. And it's fantastic as a beginner kit for doing a lot of the types of projects that you want to do when you're learning how to use microcontrollers in particular, or just electronics in general. Uh, but it's really great for microcontroller projects. If you look at some of the uh, getting started books and uh, tutorials that we have up on Adafruit, if you're doing something on an Arduino, on a circuit Python board of some kind, a Raspberry Pi Pico or even a Raspberry Pi full board, single board computer, uh, you often want the types of parts that are in here for doing your intro projects. So let me jump down here to the down shooter. I'll just show you some of the highlights uh, of what you get in here. So first of all, you get this nice, uh, impossible to open, no, this, get this nice case. Uh, and in here we have breadboard, uh, jumpers, some nice jumper wires here. Uh, as well as some header pins, breakaway headers. You've got the, uh, let's see, here are LEDs. So you can use these for indicators when you're uh, doing blinking LED types of projects. Uh, really good for indication. We also have a pack of different types of capacitors. We have resistors in a few different flavors that are kind of the ones you're gonna want when you're getting started or when you have general repairs to do. Uh, we have, in this bag, transistors, we have voltage regulators, we've got a 555 timer, an op amp, uh, all kinds of good stuff there. Diodes, did I mention? Uh, and then we also have a pack here with, I can dump these in the, in the little tray there. Uh, we have a piezo buzzer, we've got switches, slide switches, some trim, trimmer potentiometers, a uh, little uh, photo cell light sensor. This is a little vibration sensor. You can use it sort of like an accelerometer or a tap sensor. Uh, thermistor for measuring temperature. There's that 555 timer. Uh, so you'll 
you'll frequently do these types of things with it when you're just first learning, if you're, if you're putting together projects based on some of the getting started tutorials, be it for MicroPython, CircuitPython, Arduino, uh, you will usually have your microcontroller and then it'll say, okay, plug it into a breadboard and then add these parts to these pins. So here you can see I've got ground going to one leg of an LED, the other leg of the LED is going through a resistor and then through another jumper wire back over to one of the pins and I'm sending it a really basic blink project. But next thing you'll do is you'll upgrade to, hey, I need a button and maybe I need uh, to add a potentiometer and then I can start the uh, LED blinking and adjust its rate with the knob. Those are the types of things that you'll definitely want to do when you're getting started. So this, this kit makes a really good gift if you're giving someone a microcontroller and, and helping them get started. This is a really nice, you don't have to assume they have anything. They're, they're pretty much going to have what they need for the basic types of projects uh, and even some, some more advanced ones. Uh, so let's see. I don't know if there's much more to say about it. What I'll do is I will show you here is the parts pal on uh, the Adafruit site right there. And you can see during the show right now, it's uh, $9.98, so you can get it for half price. Maximum of 10 of them, 10 of them for, uh, per customer. So if you have big, big plans, uh, that, might be, uh, that might be something you can take advantage of there. Uh, here you can see, go to this view of the world for a second. Here you can see uh, all those parts laid out there. So that's a really nice representation of what you'll get in there. It's a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, also, if you take a look over here, this is, uh, let me go to my learn page. This is some of the learn guides that you'll encounter. So here's some getting started in MicroPython uh, from Tony DeCola. I think Catney has some getting started in MicroPython and CircuitPython on Pico that also use pretty much just parts in the parts pal. Uh, and you can see other projects where we just needed a few of these parts to augment other stuff that was going on. So. A uh, lot of lot of great learning stuff and uh, and and beyond that you can do uh, with the parts pal there. Uh, so sorry, yeah, sorry by the way for the the buffering. I am, as Todd said in the chat, I am recording this separately so I can release uh, a fixed version of this later. Um, but I think that'll probably do it for us. So head on over here. Uh, that is, uh, what's the ID number on this? This is 2975. Head on over to 2975 right there. There's the URL. Uh, pick those up. Those are on discount just during the show. You don't need a coupon code. Just buy it during the show and you will get it for the half off discount. Uh, and that's only good during the show and a, a little grace period after. Uh, hopefully, even though the, the show is buffering live, you'll be able to catch up on this later uh, in, in the uh, the archived version of it, and uh, I hope this convinces you to go get one now and, and uh, get it on the discount price. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's going to do it. So let's, uh, let's finish this up, and then I'll go yell at the internet. I'll shake my fist at the rain, too. Uh, I'm try to fit this back into its container here so I can put it up on my pegboard. Uh, the case has a nice hang tag on there. Don't break that off if you're using a pegboard to, to hang this sort of stuff. That is my product pick of the week. This week it is our best friend, the Parts Pal. For Adafruit Industries, I am the buffering John Park, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.